I have not played Modern Warfare Remastered in a minute. Probably si did you seriously just fucking vote downpour over strike? Do you have down syndrome? Uh, this game didn't really interest me uh, in any capacity when it came out. Uh, so I didn't really play it. Neither did Infinite Warfare. So I basically took a break. So I'm sorry if I'm super bad at this game. Um, it's just, it's just the way life goes, you know? Anyways, unfortunately, I feel obligated as a Call of Duty YouTuber to talk about the the news, the news, snoozer. Black Ops 5 and Modern Warfare 4 free to play. <laughs> My whole thing on YouTube is like I tend to stay away from like these big topic ideas and like videos like this because they don't interest me one i usually watch like one of them from like a specific youtuber and then i dip because like why would i watch a bunch of them i already got the information no one's really you know showing off different opinions but you know what i'm gonna try and be different here i'm gonna try and tell you the information in a quick and concise fashion so i can at least put it in the title and not feel like an absolute dick bag for just clickbaiting the shit out of you but then after that i'm gonna tell you why that that this information sucks wiener and is completely unuseful and boring number one if you live under a rock and don't know what i'm talking about can i jump over this can you, you can jump that's my teammate if you live under a rock basically the news the headlines are that modern warfare 4 has free to play elements and the next Call of Duty is going to be from Black Ops 5 from Treyarch because Sludgehammer apparently couldn't put their diaper on and finish a goddamn game. So that's the headlines, that is. Don't 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 listen to those. Headlines are bad. People tell you that all the time. Don't, why don't you listen? Scratch off the little dust on your noggin there and listen to people sometimes. Oh, you're bad. So first off, Black Ops 4 had free-to-play elements. And you know how anti-consumer that game is? Bullshit. Don't listen to this goddamn fucking stupid-ass headline. It's worthless. It's worthless, all right? You know what the black market is? That's free-to-play. And you know how much that fucks us over? Oh, everyone's so excited for Black Ops 5 because it's going to be good game made by good developer. You know, they made Black Ops 2, so they make good game, you know? Listen, I'm not on the Treyarch bandwagon, and I really never was. Uh, personally, I actually really like Sledgehammer games. I like what they do. Their games interest me. I like I like uh, Advanced Warfare. And most notably, I fucking loved World War II. I thought that was a dope game. I, I loved the shit out of that game. I played I streamed it on my Twitch back when I wasn't like as big of a YouTuber as I was a Twitch streamer. So I'll throw some clips up. I was actually pretty decent at that game. I played on PC. I mean, you can see for yourself right now. It's hard dying. No, not definitely even close. not. That was fucking sick. Make sure that guy lives a hearty life as it is. Fucking oh my hell. god! Okay, guy at sea. Get Please. destroyed! F, that was awesome. Oh! So yeah, I liked World War II, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I think it was a pretty good game. Especially at the end of the life cycle, they updated that game more than any other Call of Duty that I can even remember, dude. So don't trash on that game, all right? Just because you didn't like it because the colors were bland. You can fix that in post in about four seconds if you know anything about fucking editing programs, all right? They all, like, up upstairs? Dude, you guys are pussies! Jump it through. Oh my god. Grow some fucking legs! AW is a pretty fun game too, honestly. I, I like that. I mean, looking through nostalgia glasses, it was cool because it was the first advanced moving game. I know not everyone was into that. But honestly, I just liked all the cool cheese that you could throw into that game with the fucking spawn killing javelins and, and search and destroy and fucking in hardcore search for like a month. They didn't patch it so you could just take a rocket launcher and the second you spawn, just look at the ground and murder your entire team with no backfire there was no kicking there was no banning there was nothing you, like you just killed your team and it was fucking hilarious but in news that i find way more exciting i made a dank ass smoothie today i don't have any more because i drank it because i've been trying to record this video for like an hour but i made a dank ass smoothie today and i recorded the whole thing let's cut to it right now matt on the scene we're whipping to you Woo! Welcome back to Matt's Cooking Extravaganza. Today, we're actually not cooking anything, we're blending. Today, we're making a beautiful smoothie that you're watching me drink throughout the video, and I thought I'd share my secrets because people ask how I make smoothies. No, they don't. That's a lie. Let's get into the ingredients. 
Today, we're gonna be using some blueberries, some frozen blueberries to be exact. Well, of course, you're gonna need your almond milk or milk, whatever you want, but if you don't do almond, you're a pussy, protein's everything, baby. Uh, you're also gonna need a banana, because a banana will add some chunkiness and thickness to this damn smoothie. You want this, this thick with a bunch of C's, too many C's to be exact. And whoa, 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 wild card. We're gonna throw some pineapples in this bitch too. So don't you worry, if you don't got these ingredients, they're super duper cheap. You can go to your grocery store, pick some up. ASAP. So first, what you want to do is put about a cup of your of your almond milk here. You're gonna put about a cup cup in there. Um about about there. That looks good enough. You can eyeball it, doesn't matter, it's fine. Second up, you want about a cup of blueberries. That's what I got right here. You're just gonna dump your cup of blueberries in. There's a few left and get out. Perfect, super duper. Looks like, um, I can't explain what this looks like, but it, it looks delicious right now. You're gonna see soon enough. Next up, we're gonna do some pineapples. About a half a, half a cup of pineapples because that's how we do things here. Can you get out of there? You can mix up those if you want. You can do a cup of pineapples and a half a cup of blueberries if you want. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever your taste buds are tingling for is what you're gonna get in your smoothie. So follow your dreams, kids. Last but certainly not least, we got the banana. And whoa, before you just go and throw this banana in there, we have to open it first. I know I saved you a couple little bit of seconds there, but uh, I'm gonna put the mic down. Hopefully the quality's not terrible. We're gonna, we're gonna open this banana up like, woo, like so. Like, ooh, this thing looks good, nice and ripe. A little bruised, that's fine. And you're just gonna, you're gonna kind of dump. You're just gonna kind of, woo, woo, Michael Jordan shoot from the tree line, you know what I'm saying? Like, woo, shit. I gotta say, before you start blending, I made this mistake as well. Make sure you got the cap nice and tight and secured on your blender so it doesn't go anywhere. That's a good, good marketing strategy by uh, the blender company's good idea right there. So you don't want it exploding. And uh, now this, this comes to personal preference here. I'm just gonna start off as a really high number. We're just gonna see how this goes. It's really purple, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of background noise currently. Probably can't hear me, but we're just gonna let that thing go out. In fact, I'm gonna go over here and, and commentate it over here so it's a little bit quieter. We started off at a high, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go a little lower. We're just gonna, so you can, uh, so you can kind of see what's going on here, you know? Um, uh, it's, looking, it's looking a little watery. But, uh, you know, for the most part, it's about as thick. I, I'd give this, I'd give this a, uh, a Selena Gomez thick rating. Because she's not too thick, but she's, she's got some assets. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna give this a Selena Gomez. No, no Kim Kardashian today. Nuh-uh. Now, last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, you got the final act, the cup. I mean, you could, you could drink it out of this, but I, I definitely would, would, uh, recommend the cup here. I'm, I gotta put the mic down just a little bit. We're gonna remove the cap. You can't see it, but I'm removing it. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna take the thing off of the blender, if we can do that, if that's possible. There we go, we got that, ladies and gentlemen, and that's gonna go right into the cup. Right in. And look at that, it's overflowing, but that's okay. It's a little slimy. Uh, but overall, I'd give this recipe a, a, a thumb up. One thumb. You get one thumb up. Again, I didn't play much Modern Warfare, even in its prime, so I'm I'm a bit lost when it comes to these damn maps, and AIM, oh, AIM is just another fucking story. This game is honestly really aggravating me. I really am not having fun right now. I'm currently having negative fun on this game! So, I shot when you were at the middle of my screen, but I don't know if that's how bullets work uh, in this game, so I guess I'm, I'm just fucking lost! And I just... Oh my fucking god. WHERE?! Why does aiming on the Xbox feel so fucking clunky? This controller is terrible. Like, at least with a PS4 controller, it just- it, it feels like it has weight to it. Like, when I move the analog sticks, I feel like I'm moving something. With this, it feels like I'm sliding with a stick of butter. I'm glad people are absolutely fucking visible in this game! Everyone blends in, it's like we all fucking ghillie suits, we're all fucking chameleons, dude!
I'm done. I'm done. This game could go suck my fucking dick. I just wanna go to the burning man and suck my own dick on a spaceship. Yeah, I came to burn a man on you and fall.